Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to draw a speedometer using Java. So here I am inside of NetBeans, and this is my speedometer project. And design-wise, it's just a form with a panel on top of it. And the panel's basically just a box that I'm going to use to draw the speedometer inside. All of the real action happens over here in the uh, code panel. So you can see right here I've got a uh, sort of an event listener for when somebody clicks on the panel and that's the code that we're going to use to kick off this drawing. It's not very complicated. It, as you can see it's mostly just a lot of draw commands preceded by color changes to kind of mix things up a little bit. So the first thing that we do is we define the graphics variable G and I'm just setting that to the panel which I left as the default name J panel um, dot get graphics and that's the command to get the graphics variable of the panel and I'm setting it over to my own variable so that I can use it whenever I want instead of having to write that whole long line out every time. So first what we're going to do is we're going to fill this arc which is basically the the backlight of the dial and uh, these coordinates are just relating to where you're going to start where the center of this little arc is and an arc is basically a circle that's been cut into a pie slice and so this is where you're going to start drawing the circle how big the radius of the circle is going to be both the height and the width and then it's got extra parameters for you can see 0 and 180 so I'm going to start at angle 0 and go all the way over to 180 and it's going to draw for me this little basically half a pie and then it's going to fill it with the color white because I've specified G dot set color as white. So that's the that's pretty simple That's the first command. Then what we're going to do is draw another arc in black and this is just kind of aesthetics. Uh, we draw an arc and then a line and it's you'll notice that it's exactly the same size as the white arc and the line is going to be right along the bottom and that just kind of outlines your speedometer dial. You can have that or don't have that. I kind of like the look of it. This uh, draw line here in red is the speedometer indicator where it's pointing and there's a couple of different commands and they're almost exactly the same but you notice the coordinates change by one pixel usually um, along the x-axis so the starting x and the ending x all increment by one pixel. And the reason for that is there's no really easy way to change the thickness of a line. So I'm drawing several lines right next to each other, one pixel apart, basically manually changing the thickness of that line. So you can leave it as one draw command or you can have several depending on, on your taste and aesthetic preferences. This is the hard part down here though there really isn't any easy way to draw numbers around an arc. You kind of have to play around with different values and see how it looks and move them back and forth. But the command is uh, g dot draw string. And so you're going to give it the text you want to draw and then the x and y coordinates of where you want to put it. And I've just kind of experimented. These are the values that I got based on the position of my arc or my speedometer dial inside the panel I'm drawing in, how big it is, all of that stuff and I just began experimenting with different values and this is kind of what I found worked fairly well. So if we run this we can kind of see what our speedometer is going to look like. And it doesn't look like anything yet because as you remember we have the click event to kick off the drawing. So I'm going to click right in the middle and there's our speedometer and it's outlined with the black lines and it's got the numbers drawn on it. As a quick side note, if you put the outline commands before the fill command, you won't see them because that arc is the same size and so it's going to cover up the outline. So it's important to have your, your fills before your outlines. So this is our extra thick indicator pointing toward probably about 19 miles an hour or kilometers per hour, which either way is pretty slow. And all the numbers arranged basically around in an arc colored blue. I've done some experimenting and you can replace the line with another arc and program its angle 
to respond to user input. So that would be a way to program this kind of a speedometer for a game where the car is accelerating and you want the speedometer to reflect that. But right here, because it's static, I'm just using a, a simple line. So I hope you have enjoyed this video on how to create a speedometer using Java. I'm Josiah Ray.